exactly. Generally speaking, I think setup wise is better in terms of that tilt we talked about last time. Obviously, with the slightly longer shots, there was a bit of a lean back to impact, okay? Yeah. But the main issue now is we had the golf club can come back basically on one of three lines, okay? It either comes back on the middle line, the heel line, or the toe line, yeah. okay? Your golf club is coming back on this sort of toe line, so you're catching the hosel of the golf club, the heel bit, on the golf ball, okay? And if we look at these swings here now, as you go back, one thing I would suggest on here to maybe help you clear that lower half, aim your feet a bit further left, okay? okay. And because you've been hitting shots, you said on the golf course have been a little bit kind of that way, you just start aiming further yeah, to the yeah. right, okay? okay? So the more right you aim, the less you can kind of clear your lower half out of the way, yeah. okay? But generally speaking, Set it wise there is good. Now, as we go back, club's going back this point, okay. Goes back a bit longer on the right hand one, that's absolutely fine. As we come back in the goal, you see your hands now working vertically on the left hand one. You can see coming back now, this is the good one on the left. Coming back, good. Watch your right hand one now where the club goes out there. Put that club strike on the ball there, see it? So your arms are working. Now, watch this one there. Just after impact, your hands disappear around the corner and they swing around left. Look on the right hand one. So your arms aren't disappearing, are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now they disappear, they sort of catch up after the yeah, swing, okay? But for a long part of that swing, that club is swinging out. Or really because you felt you were topping the golf ball, yeah. and therefore you had to try and get lower, so you reach your arms further for it, and all you end up doing is reaching your arms further out there. Yeah, yeah. So your club was coming back too far away from you, rather than back under them. We want your arms to hang down from the shoulders this way. And that's why I think the tension in your arms just creates this kind of like wider arc and the club just starts going more in this direction. Again, the fact you've been hooking a few shots, it makes a lot of sense. You just start trying to swing further right. You play with guys who slice the golf ball and you'll see them standing on a tin, they'll be aiming over here somewhere, they'll swing it as hard and they'll be like, wee, there's a massive slice back to the target. They'll probably chip all right, but people who sort of have a bit more of a draw or overdraw, okay? That ball then starts going a bit too far to the left. Their chipping now starts working a bit more out to the right. And again, I would practice for you. T peg on the outside there. T peg on the outside there. Yeah. And just do that without a golf ball. Okay. Just make swings through that yeah, T peg until the point where you can't not do it. Okay. Yeah. Now don't go too close so you, there's no leeway. Have about an inch of gap either way. If you start thinking really easy, then make it a little bit of a a smaller gap. But don't go to the point where you just can't physically get through and then you get depressed. Okay. But. So bring that left, so bring, reset yourself again to set up. Bring your left foot back a little, open your start, open, open your left foot, there you, go. there you go. So now you can feel you can kind of cut across the ball a bit to the left. So you can start swinging, yeah, exactly. So your chest and torso can open up a little bit through the shot and you can turn and sort of swing a little bit more to the left. There you go. Now that's gone left because of club face. Exactly, that, that went left because of club face. So we've got to discuss, and we've got a bit more on the longer game now, Dan, but your club face has been very closing, yeah. Yeah. but only because you used to slice the ball a long way to the right, to try and square the club face up. That was a desperation. The ball's going 45 yards right. I'll just... Tw- 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 yeah, that cleared your lower half and opened up a bit more. So yeah, get that left hip back. It just presets your left hip out of the way. So now, Dan, your club can kind of go round this way, yeah? Rather than being this way and trying to flip it out to the right there. So... Open that stance up, and the arms can then work on the corner. There you go. That's just going left because the club face. The club face is square, but again, when someone's had the unmeant... I've oh, got you. Exactly. exactly. When someone's had the... But what we don't want to do, if your golf ball's going over here, to the left, sort of, in this position, you go, I had to fix it, and then you start aiming over yeah, here because yeah. now your swing's going to be this way again. So you've got to make sure it's set up when you get yourself back to the golf ball. So it, so it, it's just the club face is aiming this way. Yeah, yeah, you, you, yeah, exactly, yeah. So just try and feel your sort of swing on the corner that your club face is sort of staying a bit more to target that way, yeah? Okay. So a, little, a little bit straighter for a little bit longer. It's something that people who slice the ball a lot of the time will try and do to stop it by just rolling their forearms. And that's the one thing we definitely don't want to do, okay? So open that stance up a little bit. And just feel the club face is sort of staying towards target for a bit longer as you go round the corner. Don't try and push it to target like a cricket type shot, yeah? Okay, mate? 